Hey everybody, this is Maxine Taylor with a look back at the Democratic National Convention and a piece of information that I got as an astrologer that came out of this convention is very exciting to me because it brings me closer to an accurate birth time for Hillary Clinton. Now, let me just back, back it up a little bit. This is the diurnal for Hillary at the DNC. For a diurnal chart to work, the birth time must be accurate. If the diurnal is not working, the birth time is off. Well, I had seen the progressed Uranus right on the diurnal midheaven, meaning there was going to be a sudden and unexpected change to Hillary's public image. Now, when during the RNC, Donald Trump had his progressed Uranus on his diurnal midheaven on Wednesday, and we know that his birth time is accurate because it was on Wednesday when Ted Cruz from the podium refused to endorse him and encouraged every Republican to everyone to vote their conscience. But it was very telling because it was done publicly at the RNC. So, of course, I, like everybody else who watched my diurnal videos, was watching Thursday to see what would happen to Hillary. I believe since nothing publicly, anything like what happened with Donald happened to Hillary on Thursday, this tells me that the birth time is off and hindsight being 2020. Let me read to you what I think happened. The New York Times on July 24th said Democrats arrived at their nominating convention on Sunday under a cloud of discord as Debbie Wasserman Schultz, the chairwoman of the DNC, abruptly said that she was resigning after a trove of leaked emails showed party officials conspiring to sabotage the campaign of Senator Bernie Sanders of Vermont. So this storm, this public unexpected situation really occurred Sunday um, and continued, of course, on Monday, which tells me that Hillary's birth time, and I use the 8.02 a.m. birth time, which was approximate, not accurate necessarily at best, that this birth time is at least 12 minutes earlier, because for each degree on the midheaven, that's four degrees of time. That was the Uranus on the midheaven, and it began the first day of the convention. It actually began the day before, when I'm assuming everybody involved in the convention of, uh, of a major impact was already in Philadelphia. So this brings us closer to an accurate birth time for Hillary, which thrills me. Now, Bernie, his birth time, which is reported as 1227 p.m. Using that, this is Bernie's diurnal. And the transiting Uranus is on the diurnal descendant of his adversary. Um, on Friday, which is today, the day I'm recording this. I'll still keep my ear to the ground. However, the seventh house in this case would have been Hillary. And this uh, Uranian unexpected situation with Hillary as the leader of the Democratic Party did not occur on Friday. It occurred Sunday and Monday. So, uh, I'm going to once again tentatively suggest that Bernie's birth time is 12 to 16 minutes off. This is good news for astrologers because it gives us something to work with. Um, I don't claim to rectify charts, but I do claim that these diurnals help you do that. I'm going to keep watching Bernie's chart because we have not heard the end of Bernie Sanders. Uh, I'm going to be watching Hillary. We know Donald Trump's birth time is 
accurate. So no matter who is elected, I'm going to be sharing, using traditional astrology, the aspects in their chart uh, as the campaigns move forward. And no matter who is elected, I will keep you posted on the goings on in their chart during their presidency. So stay tuned for more information. And until we talk again, may the stars shine brightly on you and yours.